Okay, hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you're new here, I do Makeup Mondays, like the sign says. Woo! Makeup Mondays! So, today is a long-awaited video, you guys. I'm so excited. Today, we are going to be doing Battle of the Boxes. Boxycharm versus Ipsy. Boxycharm? Ipsy. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna take the crown this month, May 2020? Who's it gonna be? Who's taking it? Comment down below right now if you think it's gonna be BoxyCharm or Ipsy right now. Let me know. I'm really curious to see who's gonna win this month. Which box is gonna be the better box? Which box is gonna be the better bang for your buck? And that's what these boxes are about. They're subscription boxes. Each of these boxes is $25 a month. You get five full-size products in each box. It's supposed to equal around $120 plus dollars valued in the box, in each box. So if you wanna see who wins Battle of the Boxes, then you're gonna wanna keep on watching. Here we go, you guys. We are gonna open these bad boys up. I have not looked in them. I do know what's in them though because I got sent an email asking me to review the products and all the products were listed on there. I have seen like what the what products could be in the boxes, so I have an idea. I also wrote down all the products that could be in the boxes prices on a piece of paper because the last few months, both Ipsy and BoxyCharm have not sent me cards with prices, so I wanted to be prepared. So I wrote down any and all products that could be in any and all of the boxes and I wrote down the prices next to them so that at the end we can calculate how much each box is worth and we can know how much is in each of these boxes. So what I want to do is I'm going to compare them based off of the quality of the products, the brand of the products. I'm also going to be basing my decision on price. You know, I paid $25 for each of these. Which one was the more bang for my buck? Also, I'm going to be doing it on my per personal preference. Um, I always ask to not send skincare because I have enough of it. So I will be docking points for skincare, but I'm going to keep it fair. I know that a lot of people like skincare and stuff. So if it's really good skincare, Obviously, you know, we're gonna consider it as a win. Also, right now, who's winning is Ipsy. Just based off the fact that I got Ipsy a week sooner than I got BoxyCharm. I just got BoxyCharm, it's May 16th. Ipsy came on like May 11th or May 12th. Except Ipsy, the box got beat to shit, you guys. Like this box is bet beat up. I do like the aesthetic of BoxyCharm better, the black with the white, but I think Ipsy, it wins so far as far as being here a lot sooner. Okay, so. Who should we open first? I'm thinking we should just open them at the same time here. I'm gonna open these up. They're both open, okay you guys? We got Ipsy right here, boom. Boxy Charm right here, boom. There they are. Okay, so let's go through them and see. I think I'm gonna do Ipsy first. We're gonna open her up here. Looks like it comes with a little card. Maybe it's the price card. That'll be a, a first in a long time, you guys. No, it's just the like theme of the month. Get that glow is the theme. Let's take a look. Ooh, I see some good stuff in here, you guys. All right, I'm not gonna look. I'm just gonna start pulling out. First thing we have, the Vineyard Soiree. I think I'm saying that right, eyeshadow palette. By colored rain this is it right here all right let's open this bad boy up it's just cute look at that Ooh, oh it's pretty you guys very mauvey purple plums I like this it's a very travel size very nice and this retails for $22 what else Ooh, we got Ooh, a murad murad's a really good brand resurgence eye renewing cream firms invisibly reduces dark circles and wrinkles all right I know I don't like skincare, but okay, I'm all about firm and visibly reducing dark circles and wrinkles under my eyes. Okay, You know I'm a mom, you know I don't get no sleep, so this might be a win. Here, let's, oh this is a really cute like little packaging here. Here's a little eye cream. Holy shit, you guys, this Murad Renewing Eye Cream retails for $82. $82. What? I know Murad's a really good brand though, so I believe that. I, I believe it. All right, next thing. Tarte Sugar Rush Sugar Coat uh, Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the shade Cupcake. Ooh, this looks nice, you guys. Oh my gosh, this is so nice, you guys. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell on camera, but this is like matte. Oh, I'm a sucker for packaging like this, you guys. Oh. Look at that doe foot applicator. Nice and big with a clear wand. Ooh, this is nice. 
Okay, this retails for $15. Next product from Ipsy is gel. A precise, oh, it's a brow gel. Wander Beauty Brow Gel. Look at that tiny little baby wand. Oh my God, how cute. This retails for $22 as well. All right, last thing out of the Ipsy box. I think I picked this. I think this is something, like they gave us like a selection of a few things and I picked this. This is the Nomad Cosmetics Kiss of Sun palette. So it's a bronzing palette. All right, so this is it. All right, there is the shades right there, if you guys can see them. Super nice, oh my gosh. These are the three are shimmers and then this is a nice matte. And this retails for $27. 27 bucks. Okay, so in the Ipsy box, we have bronzing palette, the brow gel, the $82 eye cream, the Tarte velvet lip, and the colored rain purple palette. So this is Ipsy, you guys. Honestly, I'm impressed. This is probably, hands down, one of the better Ipsy boxes I've gotten ever. I don't, maybe they knew, maybe they knew I was gonna be doing this and they were like, we better send her some good shit. This, you guys, this is impressive. Okay, so the Wander Beauty brow was $22. This little palette was $22. This velvet lip was $15. This was $27. And then this was $82. Okay, you guys, so the total of all of this Ipsy stuff together, $168. That's good. And I'm really happy with every single one of these products, honestly. I know I don't like skincare and I said that, but I, I can see myself using this eye cream. So right now, Ipsy, dude, that was a really, really good box from Ipsy. Do you think BoxyCharm can beat that? That was really good. I got a face palette, an eyeshadow palette, a brow gel, a lip, and eye cream. Like what okay okay moving on to boxy charm boxy charm you, it's gonna it, it's hard to follow up on i have faith in you though you did so good last month i believe in you i believe in you i believe in you okay boxy charm here we go do we have a card in here anywhere ma'am there's no card thank god i wrote everything down <sighs> no card again from BoxyCharm, first thing is, this kind of reminds me of Jeffree Star, that's why I wanted to grab it first. This is the Glam Glow Berry Glow Probiotic Recovery Mask. Ooh, I know. I got the Glam Glow scrub, face scrub, in my Ipsy box a few months back, and I absolutely love it. Glam Glow is a really, really, really good brand. Smell this bad boy. Oh my gosh, you guys, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like purple and it looks like a smoothie. It smells like skincare with a little bit of berry in it, not like overpowering at all. That's really nice. This is super, super nice. I don't like skincare and I'm not a big mask person, but I like, I really like Glam Glow, so I'm totally down to try this. The Glam Glow face mask, you guys, this retails for $49. Okay, next product, little guy here. Pretty vulgar eyeshadow primer. Here it is right here. Let's open her up here. Okay, so it's it's skin color. It's not like white or anything. It's very soft. It's definitely like tacky and sticky. This might be a really good, good eye primer base. $22 for this little guy. I've never used an eye primer before, so I'm actually really excited to try that out. I always just use concealer. So that'll be my first eye primer ever. All right, next thing I got here, Daily Concepts Shampoo Bar. Here it is. You guys want to see what it looks like here oh, okay so it's like a little bar that's cute you can hang it up in your shower i don't know if i like the smell of that the shampoo this shampoo bar re retails for 24 dollars. i do like the idea of these like no plastic bottles this is a really good idea but like for me personally like in a makeup subscription box where i would just want makeup like i really this kind of turns me off, honestly, a little bit, and it smells a little funky. I'm just giving my honest opinion. Okay, moving on. <sighs> okay, we got some makeup remover wipes. Here they are. This is the AM Beauty Care Deep Sea Minerals Plus Vitamin C Serum Makeup Remover Wipes. It removes even waterproof mascara. So, I don't know, I'm curious to try these. I bet they're super expensive though. Let's see how much these are. $17. I would never, ever, 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 ever pay $17 for a pack of 25 makeup remover wipes. Not in a million years. No, ma'am. Okay, last thing. This is exciting. This is the first thing I'm like, Excited about in the BoxyCharm box. This is the Violet Boss eyeshadow palette essentials pro series. Ooh So here it is you guys. This is the Violet Voss 
Essentials Pro Series palette. It looks like there's a little bit of everything in here. I'm not gonna swatch it because I'm probably gonna give it away. We will see, but this is really great. And this retails for $29. $29, make you holla. All right, so in the Boxy Charm, we have the Makeup Remover Wipes, the Violet Voss Palette, the Shampoo Bar, the Glam Glow Face Mask, and the Pretty Vulgar Eye Primer here. So we have all of this out of the BoxyCharm box. I pay $25, and the grand total of these is $141 total for all of these here. So I paid $25, and this all retails collectively for $141. Still amazing, amazing price. Ipsy was $168, and BoxyCharm was $141. So let's break it down, you guys. Let's see here. Let's let's give them a side-by-side -side here. All right, you guys. So this is everything in both the boxes. We went through everything. We talked about everything. Now, let's really talk about it, okay? As I was opening the Ipsy box, I was super excited about each product. I was like, wow, this is nice. Wow, this is nice. Wow, this is nice. BoxyCharm, there was only really two or three products that I was really like, oh, that's nice, okay? The two products that I'm not that happy about in my BoxyCharm box are these two products. But in the Ipsy, honestly, the only thing I could say that I might not like maybe is this Colored Rain eyeshadow palette, only because I have a bunch of palettes but it is makeup and I ask for makeup, so I can't really dock it for that. With that being said, I think we know the winner Here is Ipsy! Ipsy won this month, can you believe it? I did not think that was gonna happen, you guys. I thought BoxyCharm was gonna blow them out of the water. Who else thought that? Comment down below if you really genuinely thought BoxyCharm was gonna win. I thought so. When I was looking at all the products that could be in the BoxyCharm box, I was getting so excited. Like, they had some good stuff. I was like, oh my, which they're still great items and I'm thankful for them, but if I had to compare them side by side and I only had to pick one box, if they put this, both of them side by side next to each other and said, pick one, I'd pick the Ipsy box. I would. I'd pick the Ipsy box. So I'm really shocked. Okay, so Ipsy, $168. BoxyCharm, $141. Ipsy came five days sooner than BoxyCharm and BoxyCharm had more skincare products in them and just not as many name brand good high-end products that I thought I would enjoy. Ipsy had those. So Ipsy wins this month. Ipsy wins the May Battle of the Boxes. You go Ipsy. You won April or you won May Battle of the Boxes. I'm shocked. That was awesome. Also, I got another package. I'm just gonna all right guys, that was it for Battle of the Boxes. Ipsy versus BoxyCharm, BoxyCharm versus Ipsy, Ipsy won. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys come back for another Makeup Monday. Every month I will be doing this from now on. I will be doing a Battle of the Boxes. So make sure you subscribe, hit that bell icon so that you are notified every time I upload a new video. I also do videos on Thursdays and Saturdays. So my, my schedule just changed Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and now it's Monday, Thursday, Saturday instead because I'm going back to work. Praise Jesus. So if you enjoyed this, Battle of the Boxes, please let me know, like this video, share, share the video with your family and friends, and please, please subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here and joining me for this Battle of the Boxes. I'm going to go play with some makeup, and yeah, subscribe. I will see you on Throwback Thursday. I love you guys. Bye.